Welcome to the Let Me Guide You series, this time concentrating on self-service SAP Lumira, looking at conditional formatting and how the conditional formatting behaves with situations like drill down, drill through and cascading filtering. My name is Ivor van der Zand, SAP Analytics. On the screen, you see a very simple data set which uh, has a number of metrics, actual budget forecast. And the one that I'm using is the forecast accuracy metric, which is a formula I created myself and is built up as follows. The forecast accuracy is the actual divided by the forecast. So it gives me a percentage number, the accuracy, how good are the companies and cities forecasting. And over here, I have a time dimension, which is built up over here, year, quarter, month. Yeah, so it's a hierarchical dimension. The rules that are that I set up are as follows. I have the following rules: forecast accuracy less than 70% becomes wet. Between 70 and 92%, I defined it as orange, and above 92% is green. Let us first have a look at the behavior of drill down. If I go to this um, <clears throat> little cross tab, the first thing I do is to change the cross tab in a, a graphical bar chart uh, or a pie or a line chart. One of the special things Lumira can do, and you are looking at Lumira 1.31, is that Lumira still keeps respect, respecting conditional formatting when you change the graphs. So for example, if I change to a bar chart, I get the following result. Yeah, you see the same conditional formatting. If I now drill down in, for example, 2013, you will see the conditional formatting is still respected. I have only two um, uh, rules applied over here, the orange and the green one. There is no data that uh, becomes wet in this example. And again, I can tick, for example, drill down further, and I can tick the fourth quarter, and you will see that in drill down situations, the, um, the um, conditional formatting is still respected. Yeah. Over here, you can see all the differences for the different month. Yeah. Let us now have a look at drill down and drill through. I go back to my original situation. And in this example, I just add another hierarchy as drill through hierarchy. And I put that below the time hierarchy. Yeah, so this is a PNL hierarchy that I have. You can already see when I put it over there that the conditional formatting is still being respected. If I now drill down and let me take the, for example, start with 2013. First of all, let me drill down over the time dimension to a lower level in time. I take drill down and you see the conditional formatting is still respecting. If I drill through, for example, to the cost elements in quarter two, I just pick one. You can see that also within drill through, yeah, the conditional formatting is being respected. This is very powerful and strong facilities in the Lumira 1.31 product. Yeah. The final step is to have a look at how this behaves when we uh, combine this with cascading filtering. To do so, I prepared a little storyboard based on the graphs that we just created together. Here is my little storyboard. Yeah, and uh, this graph we already had a look at, yes. And over here, I have the same one with the drill through functionality. Let us, uh, on top, I have a number of filters, country, city, and order. If I just open up and go in preview mode, first of all, you can see over here the countries. I have four countries. In total, I have this number of cities. And these are the accompanying orders. Let me now first drill down in, for example, 2011.
If I now look at what countries I still have, it's only France. Apparently, the data for forecasting was only supplied by France in 2011. As a result, I have only two cities and a limited amount of orders. If I now tick, for example, one city and filter on that, you see that the conditional formatting is being still being respected while in the same time also the number of orders have been narrowed down. I can even drill through a few order lines and you will see below that the conditional formatting keeps being respected. Yeah. Of course I choose the wrong order to, uh, to get uh, maybe this one to make two bars. Here we go. Now it's in wet. Yeah? So you can perfectly see that the conditional formatting is still being respected in drill, drill down, applying cascading filters. Let me go back to the start position. And let us now have a look at the lower graph. Again, this is the start position for the lower graph. Yeah? Let me, over here you see it. Let me select two countries, for example, Switzerland and Italy. Back. You see already the graph changing, respecting conditional formatting. I now have a look at the cities that are still open. I choose these three one, applying to all the countries. Again, over here you can see the conditional formatting still applicable. If I tick <coughs> cost and drill down over there, Voila, it's still being respected. And in the end, let me select only a few orders. Number one, four, and six. And go down again. And here you can see that everything still keeps very nicely in line, respecting conditional formatting. I think this is very strong and powerful functionality in Lumira. Uh, we already have it for quite a number of versions. Today you're looking at Lumira 1.31. My name is Ivo van der Zand. Thanks for your attention.